Hi, I'm Catherine Gray, founder of She Angel Investors and co-founder of the She Angels Foundation. I'm also the podcast host of Invest in Her and an award-winning producer, author, and TEDx speaker. Our show, Invest in Her, features phenomenal female founders and funders. As you know, women receive less than 2% of venture capital funding. Our series is about accelerating the funding of women by connecting them to funding resources. Let's meet today's guest. Welcome to this week's edition of Invest in Her. I'm your host, Catherine Gray, founder of She Angel Investors and co-founder of the She Angels Foundation. And as you know, we are all about connecting women founders to funding resources. Today, I have on a special guest. Her name is... Carrie Maloney, and she is the founder of Carrie Allison Projects. Let's find out what that's all about. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Welcome to the show. Hey, Catherine. How are you? Good to see you. You too. Uh, so let's first talk about how we met. Um, mm -hmm. She Angels Foundation gave a grant to Wings World Quest, which I am a big fan of because yeah. they support the accomplishments and discoveries of women explorers and scientists. Now, how cool is that, right? Yeah, it's really amazing. So Wings is uh, one of my clients. I serve as the executive director. And what we do is we empower um, remarkable, high achieving women in science and discovery who are using their expertise and biodiversity and, and wildlife conservation and climate action and um, just their interest in learning about undiscovered parts of the world to solve global issues and problems. And it's Very cool. a remarkable group of women. You know, and uh, I will say uh, when we had our She Angels uh, Foundation event, and, and for those that don't know, She Angels Foundation gives grants to female founded nonprofits that are helping women and girls to soar. Uh, you were one of the grants that uh, yes. Wings World Quest was one of the grants that people were most excited about because you rarely hear about an entity that's helping women and girls who are scientists and explorers. So I really uh, love talking about the work that you all do with that particular entity uh, that celebrates, you know, females in that, you know, genre that's kind of overlooked. And I always loved your story about how you got involved and why you got involved with Wings World Quest, like your story about you know, your grandfather and things like uh, that. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And our story of how you and I connected the entryway into, into She Angels. Um, yeah, I had grown up back East and um, had, you know, when you, when you're in your bubble of the people, you know, you, you don't realize that certain things are unusual. And my grandfather was a larger than life figure. And he happened to be, um, uh, he was in the military, had a long career there, but his main interest was exploration. And he was on the first flight to both poles um, and subsequently became a member of the Explorers Club in New York City. And um, as a little girl, there would be an annual dinner and he would go with my dad and, you know, other people. And I would see these photos after the fact. And it would be all of these men in black ties sitting in circles. I mean, at circle tables, you know, round tops and giving these clearly very interesting presentations and and um there was never a, a woman in any of the photos so i would say to my grandfather when i'd he'd be showing them to me i'd say you know how come how come there's no women he was like well you'll be there one day you'll be one of the women and i was like okay but how come there's no women there now and he was like but you're gonna be there <laughs> so cut to you know it never happened and then, you know, eventually the Explorers Club did start letting in women and um, cut to, you know, 2003 and Wings World Quest was founded as a response to celebrate explorers and scientists comparable to the people the Explorers Club were recognizing at the time. And, and so now um, many organizations are, are recognizing 
um, high achieving women, but Wings is the only one that that does so where the funds are unrestricted. And so we have two programs. One is we provide grants to what we call fellows, extraordinary fellows um, in science and discovery. And those are uh, $10,000 grants that we give to support the women in any way that they want. So in some cases, it may be to you know, pay for uh, childcare while they're off on an expedition. Another time it's used, you know, other times it's used for equipment or, or lots of different ways. And we're very proud of that, that we give unrestricted funding. I love that. And you know what? They do need chair, child care when they're on an exploration. So that's really cool. Uh, do you have any, uh, well, do you have any outstanding stories of someone that you funded, like that you could share with us? Oh, sure. I mean, there are many, but um, one woman who who comes to mind right now, and and when I say there are many, it's no joke. I mean, I would I encourage everybody listening to this to go to the Wings Instagram account because there's many profiles of um, all the women that we celebrate and honor. Yeah, I but, mean, I read that you've given 140 grants in over 70 countries, right? Yes, that's right. That's Bravo. right. Bravo. To emerging and established scientists and explorers. Um, And we've just announced our five honorees for 2022. And the Lifetime um, Achievement honoree, who will be recognized at our gala in Tribeca in New York City at Tribeca 360 in October, um, is a woman named Jill Heinerth. And she is a leading explorer. She's a filmmaker, photographer, and she's known for being a diver. But in particular, she's the first woman and first explorer ever to go into icebergs, iceberg caves to dive and explore. So she has been a remarkable inspiration to so many just by her adventurous spirit, But beyond that, she's been able to encounter ecosystems and see, uh, you know, aspects of the planet that so few of us ever have. And she's recording it. And she's also mentoring other explorers to do the same thing. Um, So she's really remarkable. Yeah, she's remarkable. Yeah. I mean, for the women out there that want to be explorers and scientists, they definitely need to check out Wings World Quest. And you were mentioning about how you and I connected uh, yeah. to another amazing woman, if you want to tell that story. That's right. That's right. So uh, a lot of what I do, there's an element of, of writing to, to the work that I do. And so whenever I'm doing that, I've got a podcast on. Um, I, I used to listen to music while I did it, but it would take me actually out of the writing. So I just, you know, listen to great podcasts like yours and Gabby Reese's. And I was listening and she had you on as a guest and you were talking about She Angels and you were talking about Invest in Her. And, you know, I was so inspired and I immediately realized that there was an alignment. So I reached out to you and lo and behold, we all became friends and uh, She Angels supported Wings so generously. And we had a wonderful event in December together and it was great. Absolutely. So thank you, Gabby Reese, for connecting us. Yeah, I know. Shout out directly. <laughs> yeah. Listen to her podcast too. You'll get tips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, and it, I'm with you. I listen to other podcasts and get really inspired. It's, mm-hmm. it's a, a great way to spend some time uh, for inspiration. Um, so besides uh, Wings World Quest, uh, so your Carrie Allison projects yes. um, is all about empowering women. Tell me about some of the other projects. Yeah, so I... I've been everything that you could do in a nonprofit other than being a a CFO. So, you know, I've been in the field primarily working in Africa um, and the Middle East. And then after I was was very fortunate to uh, work on a longstanding project where we provided access to quality education and micro enterprise projects to women in throughout East Africa. and I, I loved it, but I got burned out. 
And so I, I made the decision after commuting between Santa Monica, Vancouver, where the founders were based, um, New York and Africa, I realized that it would probably be in my best interest to just sort of focus on myself for a minute. And when I paused to do that, if there was about a month that I had that was all mine and I got a dog and I just started to focus on me and I was meditating and doing yoga and all the things. And um, people started reaching out to me and asking me for help. Like, oh, can you help me find this board member? Could you write this strategic plan? So I realized, oh, there might be something to this. So I decided to create my business like a college curricula um, where I just take on projects that really capture my imagination and, and advance my curiosity and my intellect. And um you know, just show me other cultures. And so I work with quite a few um, and they do happen to fall under female led, which is really amazing. Um, there's a horse sanctuary, a wild horse sanctuary up in Lompoc in Santa Barbara County that was wow. uh, founded by a woman. And it's uh, this stunning sanctuary called Return to Freedom. Um, and what they do is they protect wild horses from being slaughtered after being removed from public land and they give them a home where they're able to roam free. Um, and actually one of, uh, there's a famous horse there and I should also qualify Burroughs live there too. Um, but there's a famous horse there, the horse who was the inspiration for spirit. The Disney franchise lives there. He just had a birthday, he's 27. Um, and so, yeah, that's another remarkable uh, organization to be involved with. And then there's another one based in Westchester County um, from the East Coast, where I'm from. And it's founded by the mayor of Scarsdale. And she provides consulting services to female run businesses, especially legacy businesses. Um, and businesses owned by people of color throughout the country who are really impacted by COVID. Um, so, you know, so many people were really struggling to keep the lights on, especially service related businesses. And so she pulled together, you know, the best of the best from her experience being a McKinsey consultant prior to being mayor and uh, even activated her, her friends who had left the workforce and were raising kids and they've mobilized and they're providing services to people who need them because, you know, in the States, um, entrepreneurship is, is really the backbone of our, of our economy, as you know, more than anybody. Absolutely. So, it's why we need to get more women funded since they're so underfunded in that arena, right? That's right. We're that's underfunded right. in the nonprofit world and the for-profit world, getting about 2% in both of those arenas. Uh, you know, the female founded nonprofits that are helping women uh, those initiatives, those women initiatives get 2.6% in the venture capital world, less than 2% of venture capital for for-profit companies. So we have a long way to go. And I think it starts with bringing awareness to these stats and then asking women to become angel investors and also in, uh, you know, become charitable uh, givers to nonprofits as well, which women seem to have an easier time doing than investing in women, but we need to be doing both, right? You know, that's so true. And it's funny because um, I got into this, I almost like reverse engineered my way into this, meaning, um, you know, when I was working in Africa, it, you the the mantra, the common, um, you know, belief is invest in women, because when you invest in women, they stretch a dollar in a small village in a district. And, you know, in the states as well, women are the decision makers of the household, meaning they are the ones who manage um, extended care. They're the ones who manage like the quote unquote family business. While and, where, and where the money's being spent. Uh, women That's impact right. 80% of the buying decisions. That's so, right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So it, it's so, um, it's so vital. And it, I'm so grateful to you for raising awareness about this topic because it should just be a normalized piece of the conversation. Right. 
Right, right. We shouldn't be even having to talk about it, but we are. And hopefully we're on our way to accelerating the funding for women in both nonprofit and for profit. Um, so all of your entities, uh, people can find them at carryallisonprojects.com. Yeah. And on LinkedIn, I'm Carrie Allison Maloney. So they can find all of that good stuff there. Um, right. Yeah. And if they have a nonprofit and they want to work with you, what would be uh, the type of service that they'd be seeking to align with your Carrie Allison projects? It would be strategic development. And, and so like, you know, largely fundraising, development, communications, anything to accelerate growth and funding. And you look for female founded nonprofits that are helping anything from women to animals, like that type of thing, but you help them with the strategic plan of how to grow their nonprofit. Yeah, it runs the gamut. I would say that it's it's across the board. It tends to uh, fall in wildlife conservation and female driven projects. I think that's just because that's where the bulk of of my expertise fall under. But I've I've helped organizations um, across the board. They they don't have to be just female led. And and I will say that um, increasingly more and more men in the nonprofit space are investing in women, I'm finding. And that's really exciting to see too. Absolutely. We always like to hear that. I know. Uh, that's why I wanted to make sure to say it. <laughs> so besides Carrie, um, AllisonProjects.com uh, and LinkedIn, uh, can people also follow you on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Instagram Twitter? Yeah. Yeah. Instagram's another great place to see because I, I represent all the different projects that I'm involved in and it's sort of behind the scenes, which is fun. Um, and that's Carrie Allison Projects. Love and it. Allison I'm is with one L, which I believe is the Scottish way or the Irish okay. way. I can't remember. Great. Carrie Allison Projects um, on Instagram uh, with one L. I'm going to follow you. I want to see all the cool things that you're working on. I know. I'm surprised we're not following each other. I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah, we've got to do that. And we are, of course, uh, She Angel Investors. And uh, I believe on Twitter, it's She Angel Invest. But uh, people also can find me, Catherine Gray, on Instagram, uh, uh, invest in her and also on LinkedIn, just so everybody can get a hold of both of us. And um, yeah, let's... Uh, uh, you know, all connect uh, through social because it's a great way for us to follow what each other's doing for sure. Um, one of the things I wanted to mention is um, you said about funding. Uh, that is one of the biggest challenges to nonprofits is how do they get funding? I've noticed a lot of entities also are going into becoming like social enterprise companies. I noticed yeah. that more and more. Yeah. But, um, but I digress. So uh, yeah. So if you need help with your strategy or your fundraising, uh, definitely check out Carrie Maloney. Uh, just an amazing person. I, I'm so glad that we connected to She Angels Foundation. So happy that we got behind Wings World Quest because we are all about uh, women scientists and explorers being able to uh, flourish. We want to see more of them in that space. And uh, super excited that we got to meet and talk about that. Um, and thank you for being part of She Angels. So uh, oh, you, have, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to invest in her. If you have a uh, nonprofit that needs some strategy and fundraising, definitely check out Carrie Maloney at carryallisonprojects.com. And everybody, thanks for tuning in. Remember to invest in another woman. Uh, we all need that in order to accelerate the funding of women. Make it a great day, everybody. Thank you so much, Carrie. Thank you so much for all that you do in the world. Remember, if you're looking to launch a business or grow your business, check out our e-course, Six Ways to Fund Your Business, available at SheAngelInvestors.com.